Hello everyone and welcome to another 3ds Max tutorial. In this tutorial uh, I will show you one amazing plugin for 3ds Max. It's uh, ca called uh, Phoenix FB. Uh, in this tutorial I'm using uh, Phoenix FB 3.04 version. So okay, let's start. Uh, this is his toolbar so we have about 20 icons first five is uh, for custom creation so from scratch and from here to here you have some presets also these presets have some uh, arrows as you can see here in the right bottom corner so when you hold left click you can choose second one or third one if it if this have so okay let's start to create simulation we need a uh, object actually emitter so i will create just simple sphere and just using a random number here for just presentation and let's first start with some presets so presets uh, can show you some exa examples so you can see how it works and also uh, it will help help you to understand uh, to understand actually how it, this simulation works so for this tutorial i will use just simple explosion and so first you need to select your uh, emitter then choose preset okay when now as you can see uh, i have here two uh, one is a fire text icon and second one is this uh, cube so this cube is uh, representing uh, the space uh, where will simulation works so uh, if this emitter is out outside so out of this box uh, you will see nothing so make sure your emitter is inside the box and uh, this one uh, represents you a source so let's first press start simulation okay so just simple few clicks and we have already something really cool so this is our explosion uh, this is now on a really low resolution but uh, let's first see what's going on here so when you select your object and then just uh, choose one of these presets just press play button and you will see what's going on but uh, in practice uh, let's go inside this cube so select this cube and you will see a lot of these options here uh, <coughs> let's start from simulation in simulation you have some buttons to control start and stop also you have some controls uh, how uh, from what number to start and uh, what number to stop also you have some information about uh, rendering and also consumption of ram and everything else that's it from simulation so let's switch to grid so here you control your uh, quality of this simulation so the lower number of here is the better quality of simulation you will see so you can use these uh, buttons here to automatically increase your quality so as you can see uh, uh, when i click in here my number going lower but the total cells going up so i have already 20 28 and half million of cells 
so also you can decrease so in the practice is good to using a low resolution for tests to make sure to see uh, what's going on on scene and for final resolution you just increase or just use uh, your own custom uh, size and that's it okay so that's the grid so let's switch to dynamics in dynamics you can play with the gravity with time scale scene scale with cooling rate also smoke dissipation and much more but let's left this for some other tutorials where, where, where we will cover some explosions and uh, going much deeper inside so from dynamics let's move to preview so as you can see you see now this fi uh, fine and uh, really cool explosion but when you creating from scratch something you will see something like this so you will see voxels and to enable uh, the good preview so you need to enable this gpu preview uh, you will find it in preview tab so scrolling down and just enable it in viewport and everything is uh, selected by default so you don't need to change some uh, parameters there uh, in rendering for now let's left it for some uh, more complicated tutorials but for now this is really basic so uh, that's it in the this cube so let's switch quick to this fire so in the source you will see something like this when you open in modify box you will see here we have emitter our emitter is sphere so you can add more than one emitters so if you have two for example three emitters you can select it and also we have some options here we have temperature smoke fuel rbg so as you can see you can play with it we can disable smoke or temperature so it all depends what you want to create so that's mostly it for this uh, example so uh, i forgot one thing to, s to tell you it's exactly uh, mostly every of these presets have same interface so just feel free to apply some uh, emitter and just play with okay let's create it from scratch now so to creating from scratch uh, you again just use simple create your emitter then also create some cube so i'm using as you can see we have here smoke simulator fire and smoke and we have liquid so i choose uh, this one and i just create so like if just left click and like when you're creating some object so this is here as you can see this is not enough to creating some magic so to create some fire we need also source so here you have fire and smoke source you have liquid source but because we choose first one this uh, simulator so we will use fire sm and smoke source so when we create this simple text icon just select it and go to modify box and here click on add and choose your emitter and that's it and now you can play with these options what you want to see and you want to create and just then switch to box and you will here change your parameters to create what you want so let's see what's going on here as you can see for really fast we have some fire here 
so it's cool but as you can see this file is of bad resolution so let's enable GPU preview to see something what's going on so already we have 35 images create so it's really cool so you can move and check what's going on on the scene and now you can just play with parameters and replay again and again after every change to see what's going on and uh, one thing what I forgot to tell you is exactly uh, this uh, here in the dynamics when you scrolling down here you will see a uh, multi-pass material transfer so as you can see here we have uh, by default uh, steps per frame is one but if you wanted to see the smooth and really smooth simulation you will need to increase this number for example four or six steps per frame so it depends what you're looking for so guys uh, that's it for this basic tutorial and uh, yeah see you in some other tutorials thanks for watching